All right, good afternoon, IHSA football family. It is time now for opening remarks. Week two, a deep dish football game of the week, and we got to start ourselves a great game right now as Grant takes on Taft. Um, both teams lost. Grant surprisingly took the fight to Munderloin um, in a very impressive game. Um, even though they lost, Grant's doing a good job. Uh, Coach, <clears throat> sorry about that. Coach Norwood doing a wonderful job first year as the head coach of Grant, and he's getting these kids ready to play. Um, good defense, too, and he's a defensive coach, former from Bar Barrington, took over the job at Grant, um, and he, so far, so good. I mean, there's no such thing as a moral win, a moral victory. I know people complain about that, but Grant did a great job last weekend, and uh, they're an interesting team this year, very interesting team. You got Taft football, who had a tough uh, loss to Glenbrook North, uh, but again, very talented team, Krupa at offensive line, a bad quarterback, a uh, good solid group of wide receivers too. We'll go into the whole roster and um, schedule tomorrow as we talk about uh, what you need to know from both teams. But this is, again, just opening remarks. Again, this is going to be a great game. I got a good feeling about this game. Um, I'm very impressed with Grant Football, what they were able to do against Munderloin. Um, Taft Football. Tough fight. I think Taft can get into the playoffs, but the big thing is, can they get that big? Can they get? Can they get? Can they get a big push and start challenging teams in the playoffs? I think Taft can get to the six wins, seven wins this season, um, and get into the playoffs. But we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a remake because I missed the Taft game last year, so I keep getting the Taft coaches on my ass. So you know what? This this is going to be. I will be at the game and it should be a lot of fun. As Taft takes on Grant, um, and I will go more into mag uh, game <laughs> magic numbers for the game of the week. Uh, I'm going to tweet some uh, numbers, tweet out huddles, and do the whole thing. Just did some interviews. Check it out on deepdishfootball.com. We'll be doing more interviews with Grant and uh, Taft players, too. Um, very interesting, especially when we talk about uh, Grant footballs. They got a tough game ahead with uh, Grace like North. They got 1-2... They got a chance to maybe even get. They might. They have a good chance. They they actually have a good chance. Good solid shot at the playoffs. But uh, yeah, um, coming from a two and seven record last season, Grant actually impressed a lot of people. With even though it was a loss to Munderland, and Munderland was known as it was supposed to be a surprise team. Um, Grant looked pretty good. Taft football again. They were perennial challengers for the conference. They're going to be good this year. Um, I think what's going to be key is both quarterbacks on both sides, of, on both from both teams. It should be interesting. So uh, check it out here. Keep it out here for the Deep Dish Football Game of the Week as we go more into interviews, more into the numbers, and um, I'll go more into schedules tomorrow as we talk about players and schedule. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day. <laughs>